This is Twit. Now, we, we have spent a lot of time on the show discussing AMD's latest processors for desktops, and but we haven't really focused on the mobile ones. And, you know, since we do like to talk about laptops every now and then, this article from Pharonix caught my attention. Michael Larable received from HP the ZBook Ultra 14-inch G1A mobile workstation, which features, and here's the name, AMD Ryzen AI Max Plus Pro 395 chip. <laughs> now, yeah. It, now, it is a, it is, it is a powerhouse. It's got 16 cores, 32 threads, and has Radeon 8060S integrated graphics. Now, the laptop itself is also packed with 128 gigabytes of memory. Now, let's, let's get the obvious you know, elephant in the room out of the way. Yes, it's very pricey, coming in at approximately eight thousand U.S. dollars. But you know, keep in mind other three ninety five series processors are, are available at lower prices. I I looked, and there were some laptops. I think more about two thousand. Um, this particular machine is a flagship high end workstation replacement designed for those you know you you need maximum performance in a mobile form factor. So they're kind of going for a high end niche, probably company type uh, mm -hmm. customer here where $8,000 is easier to swallow when you're a very large conglomerate. Uh, what's Now, what's really fascinating is that this laptop was put through a comprehensive comparison against 20 other, 21 other machines, other laptops, spanning a broad range of manufacturers. I mean, there's Dell, MSI, Asus, Acer, Framework, and more. Uh, these, these, now, these are all the laptops that can run Linux, even if they aren't always specifically marketed saying they can but so these these are all benchmarks so you know that they've got a pretty good linux compatibility to them uh, the article dives deep into the tests examining everything from computational power ai processing compression media performance the entire gamut however gaming benchmarks were deliberately left out as gaming performance is heavily dependent on the gpu rather than just the cpu and some laptops include external gpus which would skew comparisons against machines running integrated graphics so if you have a external gpu on your laptop it's it's still going to be better than a lot of integrated gpus okay now let's talk results at the high level the AI Max Plus Pro 395 absolutely dominates all their other laptop chips. There's no doubt. This is exceptionally powerful. That being said, while it's not a cheap option, uh, you know, some actually view it as more of a compact desktop replacement than a traditional laptop processor. And there are some very small form factor computers using this, this uh chip so it's it's a lot of the computers like maybe it gets stuck to the back of the monitor on a vase amount or something like that so when you when you're maybe doing some office things where you don't need anything real powerful and it's running apps off servers or things like that this chip replaces a, a much larger desktop model um now like i said you can find them in other laptops cheaper but you know depends on your budget what you want to get but the the real takeaway here in this comparison i think provides valuable insight into how various processors stack up so if you're in the market for a new laptop this data lets you weigh you know computational power versus price so you can make the most informed decision possible because i mean there, there's in several amd chips several generations intel chips a few different generations so you have a wide gamut of mobile processors so you can look and see how how they all compare to decide what you actually need uh you know for those wondering how intel chips held up you know amd processors came out on top in most tests uh intel's course core ultra 7 256v and 258v well, they made a respectable showing they landed in eighth and tenth place respectively overall so not terrible but not you know they eight out of 22 so was the was the best so in, intel's got to come back a little more but maybe they're not in high demand and you can find a heck of a deal on a laptop i i didn't check prices so but maybe something to consider 
So if if you're ta- if you're considering a new laptop, take definitely take a look at the article in the show notes. Explore the benchmarks and find the best solution for your needs and budget. Yeah, I uh, I've looked at one of these before, and they are they are quite impressive. Um, I think Framework actually has one of these uh, high level AM, new AMD cards that they're about to come out with, and I looked at it. And I was like, oh, that'd be so nice, but I just can't I can't justify. I don't do enough with my laptop. I don't do enough high performance stuff. I don't actually need a mobile workstation. So that's that's mine. And at least right now, I want to say framework, they're running the I think 370 series chips, which are which are a tier down from mm-hmm. the AI Max chips. But I, I'm like you, I I don't do a I, I do more like, oh, I need I need this in the shop for looking at these manuals. I need you know, maybe I'm going to run a Dungeons and Dragons. Well, sorry, Pathfinder session. I prefer Pathfinder. <laughs> there, I said it. And uh, you know, and I need, I need, yeah, yeah, I need, I need quite a bit of memory. But you know, the processor can be a little slower for what I what I'm doing on them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that reminds me. When were we going to stream that uh, that ULS Pathfinder game? <laughs> <laughs> We've talked about it. <laughs> Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>